around with it. So I'm git cloning this from github.com from my repo and it's called code, code git, all right, cd into code, and there are two files, code, like the editor itself and the install shell. So we can run this like so, code pi, and we are, we are in the text ed editor's territory, but let's actually install it. So I just say sudo install shell, and now it should be available uh, as as the binary, kind of like binary executable. It's not binary executable, it's just uh, that's how that's happening because you have a look, code, code, by. So this is how I can open the source code of the editor. So, so because of the very first line, if I try to execute it, it just uh, does this using Python 3. So this is the entire source code, uh, totally 209 lines, uh, 210 lines. So we have page up, page down, control home, control end. Uh, and that's pretty much it in regards to the features of navigation. So uh, the cursor wraps over the lines, right? So um, if you, well, obviously you can insert new lines, uh, give it back, no undo, no copy paste. So yeah, it really uh, needs a lot of work to to actually to deal with this. Uh, if you want to save, uh, you can only save to the current file. So for instance, just control Q to exit. So if I just uh, start a new session, it creates the file called untitled txt. So if I just uh, create some, uh, some file here and save, and here we got the file. Right, but obviously we can also open this again with the editor. So code untitled txt and whatever, whatever. So the editing is yeah, the editing is there, which is nice. Control S, Control Q, one more time so it gets saved all all all, all the time. So let's remove this for now. No need this. Um, Now, if you want to create a file with a custom file name, you can simply say code my file.txt and like this. And now you got this my file.txt. So again, keep keep editing. Yeah, home and home and and are also on the cards, right? And um, yeah, let's have a look at the source code to quickly walk through. So uh, it starts uh, by boring the curses library, which is which does uh, set in the terminal the row mod, uh, sets no echo and things like that. And by the way, I don't even need this color scheme starts in case. Yeah, I just realized that I don't actually need this. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, this would be uh, two lines less because I ultimately don't need this lines. I was playing around with some sort of a thing, but so just save, um, exit, and Python three code pi. Code should be fairly the same, yeah, because um, it was kind of, it's a little bit, it's not that white as, as the default white here, but this default white is bright white and it's not supported in the TTY mode, so there is no uh, X window graphical system available so in this case. Uh, I would just get a throw an error, so what in that I was like manually try accepting uh, the, the available colors, but anyway, so yeah, now we don't really need that. So just to install it again. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Now 
200, no, not 218, 208 lines, yeah. So, uh, I'm using a wrapper here, Curses wrapper, so if the app crashes, then the terminal not gonna get, doesn't get malformed instead, it just restores properly. It's quite useful for debugging. Um, so the core feed, the core functions are to read the keyboard, so this is the, well, this is the main loop, and update the screen. So here is the read keyboard routine. So all the keys are available. So control Q to um, escape, control N for, to make a new file, control S to save the file. So some navigation buttons. Uh, these guys are, are control home and control end, or maybe on the contrary, not sure. Uh, on the new line, we're inserting a new line. Uh, on the backspace, we're deleting character and adjusting those like rows. Um, well, update screen is, is quite trivial, so it just puts the cursor to the top left corner, then scrolls the buffer appropriately, then prints the buffer, prints the status bar, which is this one line down below, then re enables the cursor. Well, actually, no, it's actually. Move. Yeah, actually, it hides the cursor before moving the cursor to the current to the current location, and then it sets it back. So probably I should have. No, no it's otherwise it's just gonna be glitchy. So yeah, it should be like this. Like this is fine. Then refreshes the screen to to make the updates working. So this is the print buffer. So probably some of the interesting things to consider here is. Um, how the how the internal buffer representation is working here. So we have so here is the buff which uh, takes like when we load a file this gets populated. So how how this data structure looks like. So this the dynamic list of of lists, not of strings, but of lists. And every string is represented as like the integer values like for ASCII codes. Uh, so it's not a string, not a Python string, but it's more like it could be treated as a C string at some point, but actually it's a Python list data structure. So those are being, being dynamic as well. So you can insert. Well, actually, every time you type something, it actually inserts to, uh, it finds the proper row. So here are this current Y uh, is like the buffer row. Current X is within the buffer row. Uh, we have the index for, for where to insert the character. And that's the way how the the visual uh, representation of of the cursor is getting synchronized with uh, the internal pointer to, to the particular row and call within the buffer. So that's how it works, and that's pretty much all about it. So if we if we if we delete uh, if I press backspace from the ver from uh, current x zero, just appends uh, deletes the line and appends whatever to the right of the cursor to the previous line. And if I split the line by uh, by pressing enter somewhere, it just whatever goes to the right of the line gets erased and creates a new line, or whatever was to the right side of the cursor gets appended to here. That's pretty much all about it. It's quite simple. Um, so when it do, when it goes like within the block of text, uh, the cursor moves nicely. If it drops to the zero, it then goes up like this. Same down below. Um, here we have just two spaces, so anyways. So yeah, um, nothing special, but quite a fun then, that when I was trying to add some additional features, which I dropped drop later because just no longer minimalist and not yet kind of usable, like what would you, what would you expect from from a text editor. So eventually, I decided to stop with this 200. Now it's 200 and anyways. Yeah, guys, so if you're brave enough, if you're brave enough, you can give it a try. That's it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until next time, and take care.